Uh, we're here with Hans Bortpol, the general director of the Dutch Tax Administration, to talk about the project Tafik, which means Tools Against Financial and Economic Internet Crime. Hans, welcome. Thanks. Um, this project is sponsored by the European Commission, but the Dutch Tax Office also invests a large amount of resources in this project. Uh, you, as general director, put your signature on the contract. Yep. Uh, why is this project important for you? Yeah, I think uh, the digital environment in our moder modern society uh, gets becoming more and more important. You have the physical world, shops, companies, uh, but also the, the digital world where people trade, share information. And as a tax office, you should, should be out there. The digital environment is uh, something where trades are being made, taxes have to be levied, and we should be out there. So besides gathering taxes, you also feel, feel sort of societal responsibility yeah, for government. Yeah, I, th I think as a governmental body, we should react to the changes in society and the digital environment uh, within our countries, but also across boundaries is getting more and more important. Mm. And that's why we do this internationally. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, the companies within Europe uh, operate more and more internationally within Europe and even across uh, uh, different continents. Um, companies that com yeah, comply with our laws, but also the companies that don't comply with our laws operate internationally. So if we do uh, investigate, we should be out there across uh, our boundaries. Yes. Um, this project will be carried out by the tax offices of the Netherlands, Belgium and Sweden. Uh, in the Netherlands also uh, the Dutch coordinator for counter-terrorism and security uh, and also sentient and parabots. Uh, why this combination of partners in this project? In the Netherlands we believe in, in uh, cooperation between partners who uh, have something to bring but also like to invest money and energy in a certain uh, uh, development and it should have something about a coalition of the willing, mm. parties who want to operate. And it shouldn't always be 20 or 30 parties together because it gets very difficult to get your governance in place. So small enough to be agile and large enough to have a lot of support and, and resources available. Mm. So these are the partners that are there at this moment that will probably grow during the development of uh, Tafik. Right, because th those are the partners who carry out the project, yep. but it also builds on an existing community, which yep. we can call the Xenon yep. community. Yep. Um, could you say something about that? Yeah, I think uh, uh, in the Netherlands we have the, the, uh, the organization we call the Internet Service Center, which is uh, one of the, the, the traditional places where within uh, Dutch tax uh, the whole traffic on the internet is being watched. Where looking for uh, 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 taxpayers that don't have the characteristics we would like them to have. Mm. Um, and if you have these new developments, you try to build on top of experience you have gained in the past. So the whole Xeno community was started on different uh, uh, parts in, in organizations across different uh, countries. And if you have some, such a development like Tafik, you want to build on top of that experience. So I'm very glad that uh, we can uh, take the next step. Okay. So other partners might be added too. In the future. Oh, certainly, certainly. Yes. Yeah. And at the same time, um, if you don't have the the energy of the resources at this moment to participate, it doesn't mean you can't take part in a year time or in two years time. So it should be a little bit fluid. In the Netherlands, we have quite a lot of experiences with these kind of uh, programs. And if you have some room for people to start to participate at a time that's just for them, it's much easier to govern. How do you perceive the current level of international collaboration and how could it be improved? I think if we look at starting uh, with Europe, we see that um, legitimate businesses all trade across country uh, uh, borders. Um, it's not just the big companies uh, that trade internationally, but also small and medium-sized enterprises are trading much and much more across uh, uh, our boundaries. That means that also in the 
the less uh, desirable uh, uh, way to trade, uh, tax evasion or uh, even criminal activities, boundaries are not something that the, the criminal uh, 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 is hindered by. It helps him even because uh, there are different organizations across those different uh, parts of Europe. So if you want to have a good understanding about what's going on, on in that digital environment, you should be able to have an overall view of starting Europe, but maybe even more, more widely worldwide. So if you have different tools, if different methods, it's very difficult to share information uh, when the criminal environment is trading internationally. Mm. So I deeply feel that we should have common practices, common tools, be able to share knowledge across uh, our country boundaries to be able to react on international criminal behavior. Mm. You could say uh, international criminals have a head start on the yeah, internet. And yeah, we need to catch yeah up with they them. use those boundaries. So we should um, uh, react by making the, the sharing of knowledge and information about criminal behavior easier. Mm. But also, within each country, collaboration might yep. be difficult. Yep. Uh, the project envisions that uh, the tax officers and the police investigation collaborate. Yep. Um, I can imagine that each country has a specific context. Could you say something about the Dutch context yep. Yep. combined in, with, uh, in comparison yep. with, with other countries? Yep. Yep. In the Netherlands, we, uh, we uh, strongly feel uh, about sharing information and even having combined operations between tax and other governmental bodies like police, but also um, uh, people who investigate the quality of food and quite a lot of other services. So we are more and more regularly operating together with other parties. Then you get the same boundary discussion. You have this law to uh, look into, you have these norms or this quality of food that you are interested in. And if you are able to share information also on a national scale between different agencies, uh, you get a much better view uh, on what's the best uh, approach to a certain behavior. So the Dutch are a bit of champion in collaboration compared to oh, others? And I'm, I'm I try to be uh, not not that uh, enthusiastic about the Dutch situation because uh, this kind of operation is also uh, 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 available in uh, uh, many other countries. But we Dutch have one advantage. We're a very small country, mm. so we need to operate uh, uh, very good within, within our boundaries because we are just a small country. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, during the target group meeting, uh, participants will also talk about specific projects within five broadly defined themes, such as uh, fake medicine, counterfeiting, uh, money laundering, of course, basic primary fraud, such as fake payments, and identity fraud. Uh, which of these themes appeal most to you, and perhaps you would like to add some to it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's very good if you have an... an um, development like Tafik to focus on a smaller group of uh, 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 projects. At the same time, it's, it's difficult to say what will be the future use of Tafik. It should be able to, to be um, uh, used for a wide range of investigations. So I think it's, it's good to focus and at the same time, the, the whole uh, capability should be very broad. If you look at these first thoughts, I think identity fraud is one of the things that uh, is really scary for people uh, when they're a victim uh, of that. So of course, uh, money laundering and, and fake medicines are very important things. But from a personal perspective, I think identity theft, identity fraud are really uh, big uh, 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 problems in, uh, in our modern society. Uh, investigation methods, tools, and especially the content is sensitive material. Uh, how do you strike the balance between sharing this knowledge openly and preventing it from falling into the wrong hands? In the, the well-organized modern crime organization, uh, there are always um, uh, attempts to gain access to uh, information within uh, police organizations or tax organizations or any investigating body. 
So I think cooperation between governmental bodies is necessary. At the, at the same time, we're permanently at risk of counter-surveillance from uh, the people we are investigating. So we should be very aware of these risks. And at the same time, you can't be totally closed off from your environment. So we will have to trade off risks between uh, counter-intelligence and uh, the, the sharing of information. Yeah. There's not an easy solution. We should be aware of this. I'm looking forward to, uh, to capabilities that will be built in mm. the traffic to, uh, to closely guard our information and at the same time uh, make collaboration uh, possible. Mm. Because the proposal also mentions that a new IV, uh, ICT infrastructure will be built to facilitate the data exchange between the Dutch, Swedish and Belgian mm -hmm. partners. Mm -hmm. uh, is that necessary or do uh, we tools? Yeah, I, I don't see it as building a new infrastructure, more as using capabilities that are already in place uh, and using uh, um, uh, things that in the Xenon environment and, and other uh, environments are already there. Okay. So I wouldn't call it a totally new ICT infrastructure, but more the, the opening up of capabilities that are there. This also builds on the Xenon community. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, finally, this video will be shown at the Tafeik uh, target group meeting. Uh, any last words for the participants? Yeah, I hope you all have uh, a great day and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the, the capabilities that you and your colleagues will, um, will develop in uh, the coming years. I think you are doing a great, great job and I uh, wish everybody all the best of luck. Thank you very much.